Hi everybody, Godfather Prepper. Today I want to show you about uh, uh, show you a little trick on how to get your axes to last a little longer. Uh, particularly if you're uh, a wood burner, you know what I'm talking about here. One or two good wax right here. Uh, if you miss the the piece of wood you're splitting, you can lose your uh, handle instantly. Uh, I picked these two up today at a yard sale. Both of them very nice axes for uh, five dollars for both of them so whenever I get an axe I do a couple things first uh, what I'm gonna do first is uh, uh, take and just hit that lightly with sandpaper and then put a nice coat of exterior paint on it just to keep it sealed but the second most important thing is get yourself an old radiator hose which I have here and cut yourself off about four inches so what I do is cut it like this. I do okay, I guess. And then what you want to do is take this piece of radiator hose and you want to tape it. Put electrical tape on it right up here. So when you miss your piece of wood, this hose will absorb most of the impact. And uh, I've been doing this for years and I've been able to nurse my uh, tools along for literally decades by doing this and when they go south I just replace them but uh, I'll put one together and show you. Now you can see this handle is gorgeous it's beautiful wood. Um, I'm going to probably guess hickory and uh, so I decided instead of painting it to put a uh, coat of spar varnish on it which is okay so here it is it's got a nice coat of uh, polyurethane uh, varnish on it keep that weather uh, off the handle and I went ahead and painted it red I, I just took a wire brush real quickly wired off and uh, I do that so I can find it if uh, for some reason it ends up in the wood pile uh, it's a lot easier to spot a uh, a red uh, head than a, uh, a wood a piece of wood in a wood pile so what we've got is we've taken our radiator we've cut it into a little four inch section. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around here using electrical tape. So here we go. And about 10-15 minutes work I've got myself a nice beautiful axe that I'll have around the old uh, ranch here for uh, a lot of years. So here's what they look like when they've been used. This maul is uh, my son splits wood with it and as you can see he's missed a few times and uh, it's no harm no foul. The electrical tape and the hose takes the uh, the brunt of the uh, impact. So all I need to do is throw a new radiator hose on this and uh, a little bit of tape and we're back in business and we don't have to replace the handle. Okay, I went ahead and uh, did them all because I was doing the axes, so I figured I'll just go ahead and do a service on this because I'm going to use it this winter, this fall. Anyways, put a new shield on it, painted it, put an edge on it, and uh, this was my dad's. He passed away 20 years ago, and he had it for several years, so you can get a lot of use out of these things if you just take care of them. Well, there it is, ready to get to work, but let me show you something else while I'm at it. This little hatchet. Um, I come across these heads all the time. You get them at yard sales for, for, for a buck a head. And uh, the handles are more expensive if you go out and buy a wooden handle. So I always just take a piece of steel pipe and, and pound it down and put it in there. And then I put a little, just a weld on the top. That looks nasty, but it works. And uh, you've got yourself a little hatchet that uh, you will, uh, can never break unless you abuse it and you can break anything but uh, I've had that one for years I use that to split the wood on my little stove and on my cookers so uh, there you have it thanks for watching and God bless